how to use and change to ProtonVPN's new in-house built Stealth VPN protocol. On the 11th of October 2022, the Proton team had a news release with the title of Defeat Censorship with Stealth, our new VPN protocol. Now, I know I'm a little late to talking about the new Proton VPN Stealth protocol as this article was released around two weeks ago, but I think it's still important to cover as it hasn't been talked about in detail on YouTube just yet. So what exactly is Proton VPN's new Stealth protocol and what does it do? Basically, the Proton team developed a new VPN protocol, they called it Stealth, and it's used to avoid detection and let you bypass internet censorship and VPN blocks. Why is Stealth needed? To put it simply, it's a brand Brand new protocol built from the ground up, allowing your Proton VPN connection to be almost completely undetectable. As of today, of course, in the future, the protocol could be obsolete. The Stealth protocol is currently available on all Proton VPN plans including their free plan, and this is because, according to the Proton team, everyone deserves online freedom. For now, you can use Stealth on Android, Mac OS, and iOS. As of today, guys, the new Proton VPN Stealth protocol is not available on Windows. In the future, hopefully this changes. I'll update you with a new video if the Proton VPN team announce a release for Windows. We'll get to how to use Stealth in just a bit, but for now, I want to give you a bit more detail on the Stealth protocol before I show you how to change to this protocol and use Use it. So on the Stealth protocol, Proton VPN Stealth is a unique protocol that evades detection and allows you to bypass most firewalls and VPN blocking methods. Unlike other VPN services, the Proton VPN team is deeply committed to advancing freedom and developing new technologies to beat censorship around the world. For instance, their alternative routing technology bypasses internet blocks by routing connections over other paths. Similarly, their Stealth VPN protocol fights censorship by making your VPN traffic look like regular traffic, allowing Allowing you to access otherwise blocked information. And you can click on these two hyperlink texts to learn more about alternative routing and the Stealth VPN protocol. Now the learn more hyperlink text here will take us back to the first article that I showed you. So how do you use Stealth? To activate Stealth, open the Proton VPN app on your device. So you have the instructions for Android, iOS, iPad OS, and Mac OS, and hopefully in the future, Windows. So I'm going to be demonstrating how to change to and use the Stealth protocol on my Proton on VPN Android application for this video demonstration. So I'll be back with you guys once I'm on my Android device. All right guys, I'm back and I'm on my Android device, specifically my Android smartphone. The first thing you need to do, if you haven't already, is download and install the Proton VPN app and create a Proton account. If you haven't already created a Proton account, I'll put my referral link in the video description to help you get started on signing up to Proton VPN and other Proton services. Once you've created your Proton VPN account and have already downloaded and installed Proton VPN, you can now open up the Proton VPN application. As you can see, guys, for me, the Proton VPN application is on my home screen. I'm simply going to tap on it to open it. Once you've done that, guys, and you've already signed up for your Proton VPN account using my referral link, tap or click on sign in, enter your username or your Proton address, and then enter your password. So I'm just going to enter my Proton VPN details now, guys, to sign in. Once you've entered in your details, tap or click on sign in, depending on the device you're currently on. Once you signed in, you'll be greeted with a list of servers that you can connect to. As you can see, guys, I'm currently using the Proton VPN free tier. Next, what you'll need to do is follow the steps for your specific device on how to use Stealth. I'm on Android, so the first thing I'm going to do is tap on the three horizontal lines at the top left hand corner. Once done, I'm going to tap on settings. I'm then going to scroll down to where it says advanced and then I'm going to tap on protocol. As you can see by default, the protocol is set to smart or automatic, which lets Proton VPN decide for you what VPN protocol to use. The protocol that we're looking for is the Proton VPN protocol called Stealth. As you can see guys, it's right at the bottom. So I'm just going to tap on it now to select it. Once selected, I'm going to tap on the arrow at the top left hand corner to go back to my list of servers. The server that I'm going to connect to, guys, is the Japanese server. So I'm simply going to tap on Japan here and I'm going to pick the fastest server by tapping on the power button. I'll then be greeted with a small window which says connection request. Proton VPN wants to set up a VPN connection that allows it to monitor network traffic. Only accept if you trust the source. A key symbol appears at the top of your screen when VPN is active. I have the option to cancel or to press OK. Of course, guys, I want to connect to the Japanese server, so I'm going to tap on OK. Okay. 
Once done, ProtonVPN will start initializing the connection and use the Stealth VPN protocol. Alright guys, as you can see, I'm now connected to the Japanese server. Now what I'm going to do is swipe up from the very bottom to go back to my Android device's home screen and I'm going to check my IP address to see if it has been masked. To do this, I'm going to open up my browser, which is going to be Google Chrome. I'm going to navigate to google.com. I'm going to tap on the Google search box here and I'm going to type what is my IP address? Once you've typed that in guys, hit the magnifying glass to search. Once you've done that guys, if you look to the very top of the search result, you can see Google says, what's my IP? And underneath is your new masked IP address from ProtonVPN using the stealth protocol in the Japanese region. So as you can see guys, that's not my IP address, but it is in fact assigned to me by ProtonVPN, which is 37.19.205.194. All right guys, that pretty much concludes the video on how to use and change to Proton VPN's new in-house built Stealth VPN protocol. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. Remember guys, if you haven't already created a Proton VPN account, be sure to use my referral link in the video description below. It will help me out immensely and it will take you through the process of creating a Proton VPN account. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys if you found this information valuable. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so